Hello and welcome to Weekly Russian. My name is Natalia and today I will talk about the annual Russian language day which is observed on June 6. June 6 also is a birthday of Russian greatest poet Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin. He is considered a father of modern Russian literature. That's why Russian Language Day is celebrated on his birthday. Alexander Sergeyevich lived a short but very dramatic life. Even his ancestors were interesting. His great-grandfather was an African-Russian aristocrat, Abram Petrovich Ganibal. Abram Petrovich which was his Russian name, uh, was brought to Russia in early 18th century as a boy to be a personal servant of Russian Tsar Peter the Great. Peter the Great was an unusual monarch. He mostly appreciated in, in people their intelligence and talent, and he promoted people according to those qualities. And the boy was very intelligent, so he received the best education of the time. Uh, not only that, but he became a godson of Peter the Great. Uh, he became a Russian aristocrat and a famous Russian general. His granddaughter, Nadezhda Ganibal, became Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin's mother. Alexander Sergeyevich lived in the first half of 19th century and died tragically at the age of 37. Pushkin was educated at the Tsarskaya Silo Lyceum, the best school of his time. It was very exclusive uh, for the children of the best families in Russia. It was established by Russian Tsar Alexander I himself. And Pushkin was among the first ever graduates of that school. And during his school years, he was in a good company. All those first year graduates uh, became brilliant people. At school, Pushkin became friends with future Russian officers who became involved in the Decembrist movement. The uh, Decembrist revolt happened in December of 1825. A group of officers led troops of 3,000 to Senate Square in St. Petersburg, demanding the constitution and abolition of serfdom. They were defeated, tried, uh, convicted of state crimes, and many were sentenced, sentenced to exile in Siberia. And because Pushkin was associated with them, and himself he wrote poetry about freedom, for the rest of his life, he was watched by Russian secret police. And all his works were closely censored. And sometimes they were censored even by Russian Tsar Nicholas I himself. But all that didn't stop Pushkin from having a very exciting and interesting life. Later, he married one of the most beautiful women of his time. Natalia Nikolaevna Goncharova. He met her in Moscow when she was only 16 years old, and in two years they got married. She moved with him to St. Petersburg, which was the capital of Russia at the time, and her beauty made a sensation in Russian court. She had many admirers, even the Emperor Nicholas I was very taken by her, and he wanted to see her at all his balls and all his social gatherings. And Pushkin had to accompany her to court, which he was not happy about. It interfered with his work. It was very costly. Not only he didn't enjoy this lifestyle, he also was very jealous. Family life was happy. They had four beautiful children. 
their elder daughter Maria became famous in her future life. She inherited Natalia's beauty and Pushkin's passion. And by many she was regarded as a prototype of Tolstoy's Anna Karenina. But social life was difficult for Pushkin. One of Natalia's admirers, Dantes, uh, went too far in his attentions to her. In Pushkin's opinion, there were some letters and rumors which led to scandal. And Pushkin felt that he had to defend his wife's honor and he challenged Dantes to a duel. The duel took place on winter evening of 1837 and in this duel Pushkin was seriously wounded and in two days he died. Pushkin was a genius and a very intuitive person. He also was superstitious. He believed in fate. In one of his books, uh, this is my favorite book, Evgeny Onegin, he predicted his own death almost to small detail. His character, Evgeny Onegin, fights a duel with a young poet, Lenski. And it is a winter time, uh, they fight with pistols, uh, Lenski is killed and his body is taken away from the scene in a sleigh. And this is pretty much the picture of Pushkin's own duel. Natalia Nikolaevna has been blamed by many after Pushkin's death. And up to this day, it's been said that she was careless, that she didn't appreciate him enough, that she didn't understand what genius he was. And some of these accusations could be true. But she was very young at the time. Pushkin's character should be considered here. He was very hot-tempered. Uh, during his not such a long lifetime, 37 years, he fought 29 duels. What Pushkin means to Russian literature and to Russians? He will always be our greatest poet. Every Russian child listens to and reads his fairy tales. They are the best fairy tales that I ever read. And it's impossible to find Russian who cannot quote at least few of Pushkin's verses. Blazen, кто праздник жизни ран оставил. Не допив до дна бокала полного вина, кто не дочел ее романа и вдруг сумел расстаться с ним, как я с Онегиным моим.